Hello, my name is Scott Anger, and welcome to your first Blender 3D 2.6 tutorial. I'm going to assume that you guys have seen my other Blender tutorials and know where to find uh, Blender. If not, go to my first Blender tutorial, or 2.49 to B tutorial. And it'll show you where to get Blender. This will work for any Blender 2.6 uh, so far. So just have everything installed by the time we're starting this video. And we're going to open up Blender. And now that we have Blender, I'm using Blender 2.60 right now. But, okay, so we see our interface. We, this looks a lot different than 2.49, which I was previously using in my other tutorials. But general, the general movements are all the same. You use the click wheel to move around. You just click on the click wheel, and then you just move the mouse, and it'll move you around the whole thing. And you left click to select an object like a camera or a light or the cube that is already set up in the original or in the normal screen. And there are various things. This up here will tell you all your objects and everything you have inside of blend inside of this Blender file. Um, there's multiple different things for the scene. You can change the name of the thing so you can find your way around easier. You can set constraints, you can set settings, you can add a modifier like a any of these. You can set this and materials. This is a lot this is a lot easier from two point four nine B. So essentially, this is a little bit different. It looks different. It looks more, more professional. And I'm going to teach you quickly how to enter edit mode and how to edit stuff. So you're going to press tab, and we're now in edit mode. But you're going to be in vertice mode. So I'm going to leave myself in vertice mode. Okay. And if you right click or yeah, right click on each of the or each of the vertices, you can select each of the vertices. Or if you hold Alt and you click on a line, you'll select the whole line and you can bring the line out using these arrows. You can bring it that way and this way and this way. There's various various things you can do with the lines. Um, Control Z will undo anything you've already done, even selecting. Uh, if you if you pre press A twice, it'll select the whole thing, and you press one, it's going to put you in side view. I believe this is yeah side view. And if you scroll the uh, scroll wheel, you'll zoom in or zoom out, depending upon which way you scroll. And if you hold control and you press G or G and then Z and then control, it's gonna go up according to the lines so that you're on spot. You're right on the spot. Okay, I guess that's all I'll really teach you in this tutorial. I hope you guys well, keep yourselves tuned in to my following tutorials. I'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe or like or do absolutely anything you like. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.